Joe and Kim are new parents, and when we last spoke, they were struggling with a lot of issues. I feel like we're enemies more than friends lately. I'm frustrated because he's not understanding what I'm trying to tell him. I gave them some tools, but I want to know if they've been applying that. Just getting out of this mommy mode, I think, is going to make you a lot less resentful. Let's see how they're doing with the follow-up. The last time we talked, you, Kim, were going to take some time away by yourself, away from mommy mode, and Joe was going to spend some quality time with Zoe and building that relationship and that bond. So how have things gone? I would have to say that has improved a lot. Yeah. Um, I was just out before and he was home with Zoe, so they get to have more of their own time together, and I think that's helped the situation a bit. And how have things been going for you, Joe, with Zoe? I think she feels more comfortable with me, except, you know, she's having one of her hissy fits or something. She still wants mom, but she, <laughs> she's doing a lot better with me. How would you say things feel in general in your relationship right now compared to before? Since we talked last, I think there is signs of improvement. Okay. I kind of think what happened was like the first month after we talked to you, we definitely were making the changes. And now we're kind of just going back into where we were almost. It's, it's easy to get away from it, you know? It's easy to forget. What habits have you fallen back into? We've been arguing a lot more. Um, I feel like Joe has a short fuse with me lately about things, and then I feel like I get resentful towards him, and that just affects like the whole day. It's hard for me to let things go. Joe's a little bit more quick to get angry, and you're a little more likely to hold a grudge. Yes. Would you agree with that, Joe? A hundred percent. Is there anything you'd add? I just feel, you know, there's, there's stress in everyday life, you know, bills and work and being tired. It's easy to start arguing and taking your anger out on each other. And that's kind of the main issue there is now. I think he kind of has a hard time managing his stress. And what do you do to relieve stress? I play guitar. I'll pick up the guitar and sit in the room by myself and play or something like that. That's good. How often do you exercise? My work is pretty much 100% physical labor. So the last thing I want to do when I get home is go running or hit the gym. So at least you're getting that physical exercise in. That's the most important thing because that really helps with stress. Yep. Kim, how recently did you start to see that Joe was getting angry more quickly. I don't know, two weeks ago it started getting like that. Okay. And when was the last time you had sex? <laughs> I don't know. <gasps> two or three weeks ago? <laughs> I don't know. About when that started happening. So that's natural, right? Because Kim, if, if he's being snarky with you and you're, you know, angry about the way you're being treated, you're not going to want to have sex. Right. When sex isn't happening in a relationship and one of you wants it and the other doesn't, one of the most universal um, symptoms of that is a shorter fuse. I think that the lack of sex is making him feel a little more resentful, and then he's that much more likely to get angry. I think it's like a vicious cycle almost. Like yeah. I'm resentful towards him, and then it doesn't happen, so then it's, he just gets more upset. So, do you feel like allies right now? I think in every other aspect, for the most part, like we are still yeah. allies. The one thing you said last time was to look at like the positive things instead of just the negative. I think that was a big thing that helped for me. Absolutely, and you noticed an improvement in things when you started looking for things to appreciate. Oh, yeah. I think we've stopped doing that, though, recently. Yeah. And now you've slipped back into the old habit, which, when we get really stressed, it's just the easiest thing is to do what you did before. If she felt a little more uh, appreciation, that, I think, would definitely help Kim noticing all the great things she does. That's going to make her feel closer to you. Sure. And then she's going to be more likely to be motivated to carve out that time for sex. Right. Yep. So, Kim, I think if you also can connect with the way that sex nurtures your relationship and think about, this is my husband who may not be treating me the way I want to be treated right now, but underneath he wants to. He's just struggling right now. So I'm going to reach out to him in a language that really lands with him, which is sex. Right. That makes sense. And then Joe... Now it's time to start releasing your anger another way. If you can just go in the other room when you're just like, ready to blow, go and beat 
the poop out of a pillow. <laughs> you will find that it passes and the anger won't be there bubbling beneath the surface. Right. All right. You know, you've, you're going to veer off course always because life will make you take your hands off the wheel of the relationship. So the key is in noticing when it's happening and always think about the big picture. We might be really pissed right now, but we're going to be together a really long time. And I love this person and that will really help. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. These two have slid back a little bit, but they have the tools. They know how to use them. Now it's just about getting things back on course. This is Couples in Crisis, and if you like what you see, be sure to like this video. To see more Couples in Crisis, subscribe or watch another episode right now. And check out What the Heck Are You Eating? where Joy Bauer breaks down the good and the bad in your favorite foods.